ਹੈ ਕਿ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸਰ ਪੂਰਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਭਾਈ ਵੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰਚਾਰ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਜ਼ੁਬਾਨ ਦੀ ਆ ਉਹਦੀ ਪਰਫੁਲਤਾ ਲਈ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਸਨ ਕਿ ਚੰਗਾ ਰਹਿ ਕੇ ਕਸੀ ਬਾਈਲਿੰਗੂਲ ਕਰੀਏ ਆ ਦਿਪਿੰਦਰ ਹੋ ਰਹੀ ਅੰਗਰੇਜ਼ੀ ਜ਼ੁਬਾਨ ਤੇ ਪ੍ਰਧਾਨ ਜੀ ਆਪਣੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈ ਸ਼ੁਰੂਆਤ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਰਨ ਆ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਹੈ ਆਪਸ ਭਗਵਾਨ ਜੋਸ਼ ਇਸ ਲੈਕਚਰ ਤੇ ਪ੍ਰਧਾਨਗੀ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਮੰਨ ਗਏ ਹਨ ਆ ਕੁਝ ਦਿਨ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਹੀ ਵਾਪਸ ਆਏ ਆ ਸੇਤ ਬੋਧੀ ਚੰਗੀ ਰਹੀ ਸੀ ਪਰ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਮੰਨ ਗਏ ਹਨ ਤੇ ਆਨਲਾਈਨ ਕਨੈਕਟ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਹਨ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ ਜੀ ਆਇਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਆ ਦਿਪਿੰਦਰ ਜੀ ਅਗੇਨ ਉਹਨੇ ਸ਼ਾਰਟ ਨੋਟਿਸ ਇਨਫੈਕਟ ਆਈ ਡਿਡਨਟ ਗਿਵ ਆਰ ਐਨੀ ਆਪਰਚੁਨਿਟੀ ਟੂ ਸੇ ਯੈਸ ਆਰ ਆਈ ਸੇਡ ਦਿਪਿੰਦਰ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਸਪੀਕਿੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਸ਼ੀ ਸੇਡ ਯੈਸ ਆਰ ਵੈਲ ਲਕਲੀ ਵੀ ਫਿਕਸਡ ਇਟ ਆਨਲਾਈਨ ਅਦਰਵਾਈਜ਼ ਟੁਡੇ in person this would not have been possible because of this trouble on the border ah uh, asi professor puran singh ji nu yaad kar le ohna de 143 43 birthday te eh lecture rakha hai kal ohna da 143 janm divas hai ab main ji aaya karna chahwanga tonu sabna nu te naal hi jehde sade nal jude han audience ਆ ਮੇਰੇ ਖਿਆਲ ਭਾਈ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦੇ ਤੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸਰ ਪੂਰਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਦੇ ਐਡਮਾਇਰਰਸ ਦੇਸ਼ਾਂ ਵਿਦੇਸ਼ਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਹਨ ਖਾਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਮੈਂ ਯਾਦ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹਾਂਗਾ ਇੱਕ ਵੈਨਕੂਵਰ ਦੀ ਜਗ੍ਹਾ ਲਾਇਬ੍ਰੇਰੀ ਹੈ ਵੀਰ ਪੂਰਨ ਦਾਤ ਮੈਂ ਇੱਕ ਕਾਨਫਰੰਸ ਕਰਨ ਗਿਆ ਯੂਨੀਵਰਸਿਟੀ ਆਫ ਬ੍ਰਿਟਿਸ਼ ਕੋਲੰਬੀਆ ਤੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਲਾਇਬ੍ਰੇਰੀ ਦਿਖਾਣੀ ਹੈ ਵੀਰ ਪੂਰਨ ਦਾਤ ਮੈਂ ਗਿਆ ਵੱਡਾ ਸਾਰਾ ਹਾਲ ਹੈ ਟਾਊਨ ਦੀ ਫੈਕਟਰੀ ਹੈ ਉੱਪਰ ਵੱਡਾ ਸਾਰਾ ਹਾਲ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਤਿੰਨ ਤਸਵੀਰਾਂ ਲਈਆਂ ਨੇ ਵੀਰ ਪਾਈ ਵੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਪੂਰਨ ਪਰਸਪੂਰਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਤੇ ਦਾਦ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਖੁਦਾ ਦਾਦ ਮੈਂ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਲੱਭਣ ਲਈ ਪਰ ਬਹੁਤਾ ਮਟੀਰੀਅਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਿਲਦਾ ਖੁਦਾ ਦਾਦ ਤੇ ਤੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਖੁਦਾ ਦਾਦ ਨੇ ਪਰਸਪੂਰਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਦੀ ਅਖੀਰ ਤੱਕ ਸੇਵਾ ਕੀਤੀ ਜਦੋਂ ਬਿਮਾਰ ਸੀਗੇ ਅਖੀਰ ਤੱਕ ਸੇਵਾ ਕੀਤੀ ਤੇ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਹਾਲ ਲਗਾਇਆ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਪਾਈ ਵੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਕੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਜੇ ਮਿੱਤਰ ਮੰਡਲੀ ਦਵਿੰਦਰ ਦਖਣ ਪਾਈ ਵੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਦੇ ਮਿੱਤਰ ਮੰਡਲੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਹ ਤਸਵੀਰਾਂ ਸੀ ਲਈਆਂ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸਰ ਬੂਰਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਬਲਬੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਭਾਈ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦੇ ਫਾਦਰ ਭਾਈ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਖੁਦਾ ਦਾ ਧਨੀ ਰਾਮ ਚਾਤਰ ਕੇ ਦਰ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਰਹਿ ਗਈ ਤਸਵੀਰ ਦਿਖਦੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਧਰਮਪਤ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੋ ਮੇਰੇ ਖਿਆਲ ਜੇ ਡੇਰਾ ਦੂਨ ਸ਼ਾਮ ਨੂੰ ਸੈਰ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋਣਗੇ ਤੇ ਭਾਈ ਵੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸਰ ਪੂਰਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਤੇ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਖੁਦਾ ਦਾ ਇਹ ਬੜੀਆਂ ਉੱਚ ਲੈਵਲ ਦੇ ਰੋਹਾਨੀ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋਣਗੇ ਉਹ ਸ਼ੇਅਰ ਮਾਰਕੀਟ ਜਾਂ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟ ਪੋਲਿਟਿਕਸ ਨਹੀਂ ਡਿਸਕਸ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋਣ ਮੇਰਾ ਖਿਆਲ ਹੈ ਇੰਨੀ ਉੱਚੀ ਅਵਸਥਾ ਦੇ ਮਾਲਕ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਨੇ ਉੱਚੀਆਂ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋਣ ਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਕੁਝ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਛਪਿਆ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਸਾਰਾ ਛਪ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਕਿਆ ਹੁਣ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਹੋ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਆ ਖਾਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਵੇਂ ਅਦਾਰੇ ਖੁੱਲੇ ਹਨ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਕਿ ਪਰਸਪੂਰਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਡਿਊ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਜਾਏ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਬਹੁਤਾ ਅਣਗੋਲਿਆ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਚੰਗਾ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਪਰਸੇ ਪੂਰਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਨੂੰ ਯਾਦ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਆ ਮੇਰੇ ਖਿਆਲ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਦਿੱਲੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਡੇਰੇ ਨੂੰ ਤਾਂ ਕੁਝ ਸੱਜਣ ਜੁੜੇ ਹਨ ਖਾਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਕੁਲਜੀਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਤੇ ਪਰਵਿੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਆ ਗੁਰਿੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਕਲਸੀ ਜੇ ਵੈਨਕੂਵਰ ਤੋਂ ਪਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਟਾਈਮ ਜ਼ੋਨ ਕੀ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਨਹੀਂ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਸੀ ਜੁੜਨ ਲਈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਸਭ ਨੂੰ ਜੀਆ ਆਖਦਾ ਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਪ੍ਰਧਾ
ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਪ੍ਰਧਾਨ ਸੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਕਾਬੂ ਕਰ ਲਿਆ ਤੇ ਭਗਵਾਨ ਜੋਸ਼ ਨੇ ਗੁੱਸਾ ਆਇਆ ਮੈਂ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਲੈਟ ਅਸ ਡਿਸਾਈਡ ਬਾਈ ਮੈਜੋਰਟੀ ਇਹਨੇ ਜ਼ੋਰ ਦੀ ਮੁੱਠਾ ਮਾਰਿਆ ਮੇਜ਼ ਤੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਵਨ ਪਲੱਸ ਟਰੂਥ ਇਜ਼ ਮੈਜੋਰਟੀ ਆਮ ਮੈਜੋਰਟੀ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਜਾਓ ਬਾਬਾ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਕਮਰੇ ਜਾਈਏ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਕੀਤੀ ਸੀ ਪਰਨ ਕੀਤੀ ਸੀ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਯਾਦ ਕਰੀਏ ਤੇ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਹਿੰਮਤ ਨਹੀਂ ਵੀ ਮੈਜੋਰਟੀ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਨ ਦੀ ਸੱਚ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਕੀਤੀ ਤੇ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਸਦਨ ਬਚ ਗਿਆ ਤੇ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਮਨਮੋਹਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਨੂੰ ਇਹਦਾ ਸਰਬ ਸੰਮਤੀ ਨਾਲ ਪ੍ਰਧਾਨ ਚੁਣਿਆ ਗਿਆ ਤੇ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਮੈਂ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਰਿਣੀ ਰਹਿੰਦਾ ਭਗਵਾਨ ਜੋਸ਼ ਦਾ ਕਿ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਸਿਸ ਲੱਗਿਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਮਦਦ ਕੀਤੀ ਤੇ ਹੁਣ ਵੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਕੌਂਸਲ ਦੇ ਮੈਂਬਰ ਹਨ ਓਕੇ ਸੋ ਗਿਆ ਸਾਡੀ ਮਦਦ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਨ ਤੋ ਇਹ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਇੰਟਰੋਡਕਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਬਾਕੀ ਦਪਿੰਦਰ ਕੌਰ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਕਾਲ ਪਟਿਆਲਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਅੰਗਰੇਜ਼ੀ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸਰ ਰੇਅਰ ਬੋਚਰ ਐਂਡ ਫੋਰਨ ਲੈਂਗੁਏਜਸ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਐਮ ਏ ਪੀ ਐਚ ਡੀ ਐਮਫਿਲ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਤਾਬਾਂ ਵੀ ਲਿਖੀਆਂ ਆ ਮੈਂ ਇੱਕ ਦੋ ਕਿਤਾਬਾਂ ਜ਼ਿਕਰ ਕਰਾਂਗਾ ਮੈਂ ਅ ਕਾਰਨੀਵਲ ਆਫ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਸ ਅਗੇ ਇਮੇਜਿਨਰੀ ਐਂਡ ਸੀਮੋਟਿਕਸ ਆਫ ਡਿਕਨਸ ਐਂਡ ਦੋਸਤੋਵਸਕੀ ਐਂਡ ਕੋ ਆਥਰ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਸਿਕ ਮੈਮਰੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਪਰਚੇ ਬੜੇ ਹਾਈ ਲੈਵਲ ਜਰਨਲ ਚੈਂਪੀਅਨ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਯੂਨੀਵਰਸਿਟੀ ਗੁਰਦਾਨਕ ਦੇ ਯੂਨੀਵਰਸਿਟੀ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਚਲਾਏ ਗਏ ਸਾਲੇ ਚੈਂਪੀਅਨ ਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਖਾਸ ਕੰਮ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਕੀਤਾ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਲਗਾਈ ਹੈ ਆਪਣੇ ਅਧਿਆਪਕ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਗੁਰਪਾਗਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਨਾਲ ਉਹ ਹੈ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦਾ ਅਨੁਵਾਦ ਇਹ ਕੋਈ ਸੋਖਾ ਕੰਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਸਮਝਣਾ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਅਨੁਵਾਦ ਕਰਨਾ ਉਹਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸਪਿਰਟ ਕਨਵੇ ਕਰਨੀ ਬੜਾ ਔਖਾ ਕੰਮ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਇਹ ਦੋ ਵਿਦਵਾਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਲਗਨ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਕੰਮ ਪੂਰਾ ਕਰਤਾ ਆ ਮੈਂ ਹੁਣ ਇਸ ਪੁੱਛਿਆ ਤੇ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਜਾਣ ਕੇ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਦਾ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਵਾਲਿਊਮ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਚਾਰ ਵਾਲਿਊਮ ਛਾਪ ਰਿਹਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਖਿਆਲ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਚਾਰ ਵਾਲਿਊਮ ਉਹ ਦਾ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਵਾਲਿਊਮ ਛਪਣ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਕੰਮ ਸਿਰੇ ਚੜੇ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਕੀਤੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈ ਬਸ ਗੁਰੂ ਮਗਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਹੋਰਾਂ ਦੀ ਤੇ ਦਿਪਿੰਦਰ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਕਾਲਨਾ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈ ਉਹਦੀ ਕਦਰ ਪਵੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਸ਼ਬਦਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਦੁਬਾਰਾ ਜੀ ਆਇਆ ਆਖਦਾ ਤੇ ਨਾਲ ਹੀ ਬਾਹਰੋਂ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਜੁੜੀ ਸਾਡੀ ਆਡੀਅנס ਹੈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਜੀ ਆਇਆ ਆਖਦਾ ਤੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸਰ ਭਗਵਾਨ ਜੋਸ਼ ਨੂੰ ਬੇਨਤੀ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਹੀ ਸ਼ੁਡ ਟੇਕ ਦੀ ਚੇਅਰ ਐਂਡ ਕੰਡਕਟ ਦੀ ਫੰਕਸ਼ਨ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸਰ ਭਗਵਾਨ ਜੋਸ਼ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਕਿ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਲੈਕਚਰ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸਰ ਪੂਰਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਦੇ 143ਵੀਂ ਜਨਮ ਦਿਨ ਦੇ ਮੌਕੇ ਤੇ ਆਰਗੇਨਾਈਜ਼ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਨੈਸ਼ਨਲ ਇੰਸਟੀਚਿਊਟ ਆਫ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਸਟੱਡੀਜ਼ ਭਾਈ ਵੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਸਦਨ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਜਿਹਦੇ ਸੰਚਾਲਕ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸਰ ਮਹਿੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਹਨ ਔਰ ਜੋ ਗੱਲ ਮੈਂ ਕਹਿਣੀ ਚਾਹਣਾ ਹਾਂ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰਨ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਸਰ ਇੱਕ ਗੱਲ ਕਹਿਣੀ ਚਾਹਣਾ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸਰ ਪੂਰਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਟੈਗੋਰ ਦੇ ਬਰਾਬਰ ਦੀ ਹਸਤੀ ਹਨ ਪਰ ਅਨਫੋਰਚੂਨੇਟਲੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਬੁੱਧੀਜੀਵੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਕਾਰਨ ਤੇ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਭਾਈਚਾਰੇ ਦੇ ਕਾਰਨ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਉਹ ਬਣਦਾ ਸਥਾਨ ਸਾਡੇ ਸਮਾਜ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਸਾਹਿਤ ਵਿੱਚ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਜੋ ਟੈਗੋਰ ਨੂੰ ਬਿੰਗੋਡੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਔਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਔਰ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸਰ ਮਹਿੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਦਾ ਇਹ ਯਤਨ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਭਾਈ ਵੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਸਦਨ ਦੇ ਥਰੂ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਗੱਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਈ ਇਹ ਗੱਲ ਹੋਣੀ ਚਾਹੀ
life and works of Professor Puran Singh. Thank you, sir. Um, my title is Puran Singh, an alternative poetics and aesthetics. My talk today focuses on Puran Singh's exploration of distinct cultural, aesthetic, and spiritual experiences that shaped his poetics and sacred consciousness. Border crossing journeys, physical, metaphoric, philosophical, religious, rupture into a distinct life force that is marked by a sacred component. Puran Singh lived experiences, shape not only a distinct cultural ontology, but also gives us an alternative aesthetic, cultural, sacred model at a time when Orient East was undergoing imperial repression. To experience Puran Singh's lived moments of extreme ecstasy, joy, and freedom, one needs to be fully liberated to receive the varied life energies around you and to become the radical strangeness of the other others. Puran Singh's poetic, sacred, and aesthetic journeys are no, are no doubt a result of his traveling to Japan. Influences of personalities like Okakura and Swami Ram Tirath, Pai Veer Singh, and the Guru's Surat word. In Puran Singh, Singh's work and life, one finds a unique syncretic abandonment of diverse ideas of freedom, revolution, equality, sensitivity towards women, and the Guru's world, all come together in shaping a cultural ontology of the East, especially Punjab, where difference and specificity run parallel and are not hegemonic. What keeps Puran Singh relevant to the contemporary cultural, philosophical, aesthetic, and poetic discourse is Puran Singh's ability to surrender in a nirvanic way to the other and rejoice in a Sufi-like joy in this complete abandonment of the self. This is a gift that Puran Singh was endowed with in Vaishogrod's sense. To fully understand Puran Singh's life and poetics of Jusan, one needs to go into the varied life forces that were responsible in shaping such a soul. While Japan and Puran Singh have almost become synonymous, and rightly so, Puran Singh's childhood, the role of his mother, have equally played an important part in shaping Puran Singh's poetics and aesthetic psyche. This in turn combined with the Guru's love and Guru Surat, along with his revolutionary zeal, underlines the alternative cultural and aesthetic model that we find in Puran Singh's life and works. Puran Singh's childhood is replete with incidents and environment that helps us to understand how Puran Singh grew up to be sensitive, passionate lover of nature, beauty, and women. Much that Singh, Singh experienced as a child finds expression later in his poetry, as well as in his expressions while describing the kiminos of Japanese women, the meeting with the Swami Ram Tirath, tea-selling girls on the Osaka Riverside. Growing up in the hilly village, Salhad, near Abutabad, with its natural waterfalls, streams, the dip in the river Indus that nearly carried him away only to resurface had lasting impressions on his young mind. He remembers the river later as running like silver ribbons. The artwork of Gandhara rocks at Pathopar 
open Puran Singh's mind to Buddha's sat. The whole space to Puran Singh resonated with the sound Namo Buddha, Namo Buddha. The Gandhara art is a site where the East and the West meet. Puran Singh's aesthetic and cultural ideas articulate the simultaneity of diverse cultural and religious identities later in his works and life, where the difference in specificity of a culture that is Japan, Punjab, are in a syncretic significance and neither is hegemonic. Even the learning of the Arabic, Punjabi and English alphabets was a unique experience for him. The influence of Puran Singh's mother, who kept him close to nature by keeping a dog and a parrot in the house, who supported his decision to travel to Japan so that he would be happy, is important in shaping his relation to women. Puran Singh's mother's role in allowing him to meet Maya Devi before marriage and boldly facing the criticism of Puran Singh being called a patit are indeed very significant. One can easily confirm that Puran Singh's relation to women began with his mother. Puran Singh had read Mill's Liberty of Women and Guru Nanak's Bani, where Nanak elevates women to equal status and employed the most predominant metaphor of the loving bride seeking un union with her Kant beloved. In his writings, Puran Singh uses images to present women in cosmic dimensions. Tyranny towards women was unacceptable to Puran Singh, whether it was his sister or other women or cultural tyranny. There are other incidents where Puran Singh's ability to surrender to the other are visible in his interaction with his headmaster's second son, with whom he studies in an Anglo middle school, such as his love for him that he tells his mother, but when I love him, is it not natural I should be like him? This ability to rend oneself, to travel to the other in Batai's sense is transformative. And in excess, Puran Singh's poetry is an articulation of the surrender of the self completely to the other, simultaneously retaining the minimal self. Another remarkable incident that caught my attention is Puran Singh's frenzied state of mind that is so complete and surrounded by the beauty of the Myanthi, an, an enactment uh, by a Raval Pindi artist, that is a theater enactment, where he saw the, saw the play. That he is taken ill, it is <clears throat> almost lost the worst skin. He is restored only when the Teja Singh dresses up as the main thing. It is this heightened passion that marks Puran Singh's aesthetic and poetics. It is here that Puran Singh is struck by the beauty of the Tohar girls and brides. He finds the decadence of Lahore repressed, reminding him of the sick tragedy. Only the Hindu brides dressed in silk with ivory bangles can elevate his mind. Puran Singh's relationship with women, beauty, aesthetics begins here and assumes greater significance once he comes into contact with Japanese women in whom he sees the spiritual and the aesthetic coexisting simultaneously. Japan for Puran Singh becomes a simulacrum of varied cultural, aesthetic, philosophical, religious, and revolutionary ideas. Puran Singh's journey to Japan to study glass making, industrial chemistry in Tokyo was facilitated by Bhagat Gokulchand. He was accompanied by the Modar Singh, who entertained Puran Singh's childlike whims through the journey. 
Poon Singh remained in Japan from 1900 to 1904. Japan impacted Poon Singh in many ways. It not only shaped his cultural conscious and orient positioning, but also his world and woman consciousness at large. What struck Puran Singh was that Japan had really retained its authenticity despite its encounter with the West. It drew its life forces from its own cultural ontology that was visible in everything that the Japanese people did. Japan, in a way, was intoxicated Puran Singh to a libidinal and sacred excess. He found spirituality running through all ceremonies, festivals, and customs of Japan. For him, the Japanese house and women, he found both to be nirvanic, full of free spirit. This intermediated relation of the sacred and the beautiful, where nature, poetry, music, and life forces come together in a song was unique to Japanese culture. Puran Singh found more music in, in the streets of Tokyo. Winter snow, woman pouring tea, tree, cherry blossoms, that he was almost intoxicated with this beauty to burst into a frenzied song. Puran Singh was fascinated by the Japanese way of arranging flowers. And having festivals around them. They appeared like saints to him. The cherry blossom tree to him was a Buddhist temple. It assumed great significance, a symbol of surrender, nirvanic self, extinguishing that has great effect on the mind and the body. Puran Singh felt no nation had so completely merged with flowers as Japan. Flowers here give not just a static experience, but lead to nirvanic illumination. Puran Singh found the pilgrimage to the mountain Fujiyama also spiritual. He felt Japan welcomed the other inequality, a land sacralizing everything. Here the sacred and the beautiful were intertwined, like poetry and music. He felt Japan gave space to the other like no other nation, where the soul of the Orient is fully free. Here, one understands that anyone with Christianity, Islam, Buddhism cannot be religious. It reflected a love in the social touching that went beyond the boundaries of religion. Puran Singh's search for an alternative that could erase imperial repression was found in Japan. Here the aesthetic and the sacred combined in a way to rejoice all forms of life. His quest for the beautiful and the sacred was shaped in Japan that was overflowing in both. Japan thus shaped his aesthetic and poetic and sacred, which later combined with the guru word surat a radical alternative to the imperial repression. Puran Singh's free spirit is evident when the mother reminds him that wearing a straw hat is forbidden in Sikhism. Puran Singh responds, Oh, forbidden to a man whom the gurus freed from all bonds? It is in Japan that Puran Singh encounters Okakura. Japanese writer and statisticist and Swami Ram Tirath, teacher of mathematics who became Vedantic Yogi. Both influenced Puran Singh greatly, but in diverse ways. Okakura was in quest of an art symbol, of combining a static with some Western ideas, science, yet upholding the ideas of the East. Okakura found the tea making ceremony in Japan as sacred. To him, it was not just a drink, but it condenses Taoism and Zenism. To him, the tea making was a complete aesthetic culture. In contrast, Purun Singh does not res restrict 
himself to the tea making process. He expands the aesthetics to other objects, ideas, and many other ceremony, ceremonies. <clears throat> Japan to him becomes an intermediative spiritual nirvanic celebration of several others, unlike the Western separation between the aesthetic and the sacred mind and the body. Here, the mind and the body were integrated, leading to the sacred. Here, even the geisha was no ordinary entertaining girl, but spiritual and national symbol, a symbol of Bodhi Nirvana. Puran Singh thus forms a radical alternative under the influence of Okakura. It was under his influence that he wrote the spirit of Oriental poetry. Another very powerful influence on him, his mind, while in Japan, was Swami Ram Tirath. He met him at an indo japanese club that he had formed with his friends. Puran Singh was struck by the radical radiance of the yogi, felt his presence as a song. The Swami said to him, I have come to seek you. And Puran Singh became totally his, fired with the passion of Swami's word. Don't desire, only deserve. That he moved around in orange robes of a monk. He roamed at night on Osaka River, talked to the sail girls, reciting poetry, completely abandoning himself to this new experience. So complete was the union between the two that in lectures delivered separately in Tokyo and San Francisco, the phrases and expressions used by them were similar. Puran Singh had truly rendered himself accepting the yogi's words, you be mine. In Swami's Indeed, uh, the Swami indeed noticed that Purun Singh had the gift of dying, which in Batai's sense is a complete surrender of the ego, a rending of the body. Levinas understands it as a receiving the other in utter poverty and humility. It is a nomadic homelessness. The ability of Purun Singh to abandon completely to the other to be in this nomadic homelessness has yet another example where he fell in love with the Japanese maiden and gazed at her in frenzy and put his bosom, put his head on her bosom. When he woke up, he found his head resting on cherry blossom tree. The woman telling him, such fashion no woman can cool. That is why I surrendered to you, to a person more beautiful than myself. <laughs> Japan does become a site of transformation where Puran Singh's psyche, imaginary, simultaneously brought together the aesthetic, sacred, love, nature, beauty, cosmos. Later, these intermediative energies combined with the Guru's word and love. Puran Singh knew that it was here that Punjab's specificity laid. In Japan, Puran Singh also came into contact with revolutionaries that inspired his zeal to see freedom for his land. It was here that he started the journal, Thundering Down, that has created an impression that it was to express his revolutionary ideas. Contrary to it, the Thundering Dawn, as the compilation of Gurchetan Singh shows, is a platform to articulate diverse philosophical, aesthetic, and religious ideas. It also has Puran Singh's writings, as well as poetry of world poets under the heading Wireless. It is a fact that it is in Japan where Puran Singh met the revolutionaries that the revolutionary reflex in him got its momentum. The idea of freedom for India excited Devinder? 
Öyle. Akliyatör. Yeah. Hmm. It's going very well. Hmm? टेलीफोन स्पीकर टेक्नोलॉजी सो डिपेंडेंट हरियाणा च बंद की पंजाब तो चल रही थी टेक्नोलॉजी आई डोंट नो फिर नंबर है थोड़े को दिखा दो बेटे अभी कोई पोइम सुना दो बस जोश इस वक्त मुश्किल है कोई गल नहीं अभी शुरू हो जाएगी बड़ा कमाल का लेक्चर चल रहा है कि किस तरह जापान डिलीवरी है बहुत सोना जापान भी जाना इट्स अ यूनिक एक्सपीरियंस फॉर प्रोफेसर पूर्ण सिंह हम्म टू गिफ्टेड हेड ऑफ हिज टाइम्स ही वाज टू गिफ्टेड एक्चुअली दैट इज द पॉइंट व्हिच शी वाज ट्राइंग टू मेक दैट हिज कॉन्शियसनेस वाज फ्यूचरिस्टिक फ्यूचरिस्टिक ओरिएंटेड एंड मेनी ऑफ द थिंग्स व्हिच ही वाज एस्पायरिंग फॉर हिज कंट्री टर्न्ड आउट टू बी ट्रू Um, that's a good example of Japan not giving its cultural roots. Yeah. Uh, we, I mean, those who are colonized, yeah. they dread the slavery spirit. And that really impressed him. What what he called the greatness of the Orientalism. Small little country, but strong people, strong culture. Absolutely. Rooted in beauty, rooted in flowers, rooted in Buddhism, rooted in Taoism. Mm. Very hard working. very hard working people and very innovative Okay. Yeah. Japanese are very methodical. Very, very methodical. I went for a conference hmm. in '84. Hmm. I mean, at night they they really come. This is where you speak in the morning. In the morning, hmm. 15 minutes before the time, they'll catch you. You have you have reached it there. You hmm. can't escape. and drum beating by the japanese girls oh bop yeah the movement called rishi kosekai mm. dr nikyo nimano is the mm. president mm. was the president his son has now taken over rishi kosekai is lay buddhist mm. 
and he wrote a book, uh, Men are Men, Women are Women. Hmm. They're equal, not the same. West is same, right? Ah. Equal, equal, not same. Not same. This aspect of the Guru's philosophy really impressed me. Hmm. Boring. But it's too long, so what is it? Some good features we have retained. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Gurdwara is a longer the institution, but it's a good Bilkul. And Seva. Seva. Oh, jode polish kar dehya, ote, rakho, ote, bote, bote karane bande. Oh. Okay. I was in London in 74. I wanted to meet a man called Gurbachan Singh Gill, who owned many hotels. So I said, I'm going to meet him today. I'm going to meet him today. I said, I'm going to meet him. I said, what's wrong? I'm going to meet him. He said, I'm going to meet him. One person went to meet him and went to meet him. He said, I'm going 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 to meet him. Madhavinder, key news? Am I? Uh, oh, good, good, good. Okay, I don't know what happened. It's okay. Please carry on. It is wonderfully going well. Yeah. Clearly, Japan's cultural specificity and its ability to welcome several others while retaining its authenticity transforms and shapes uh, Puran Singh's aesthetics and the sacred. Puran Singh, on his return from Japan, was a transformed being. He says, On my way back from Japan, my blood tingled with poetic fever. Burn me. It did burn me. And till the last, I was a flame. Such poetic surrender to the other is like a living death every moment, like the blossom tree of Japan. Puran Singh was a man of excess, that is visible in his poetic and human relations and love of the Guru. This later combines with the Guru Surat becoming a radical intervention against repressive, decadent, imperial and patriarchal structures. Puran Singh's true calling no doubt was to be in Guru's love and Surat. <laughs> Singh's imaginary consciousness truly becomes celebrative as he and his writings rejoice in Guru Aftar Surat. In 1912, Puran Singh was invited to the Sikh Educational Conference in Sialkot, where he met Pai Veer Singh and was touched by his saintly personality. Puran Singh transformed himself into a baptized Sikh under his influence. Though Buddhism had greatly influenced Puran Singh, it was Sikhism that shaped his mind. He uses the metaphor of blossom for Sikhism that is not heavy, heavy laden, rigid, but that gives joy. He interprets Japti Sadaviksi as burst of blossom. In his book, The Spirit Born People, he elaborates the religion of the Gurus as art of living. For him, the Sikh is the seed of life that creates life afresh. Being a Sikh means being an intervention to transform. Here, Vahiguru or Beloved is one who inspires Vanda. The love for the Guru is related to Nam and Simran. Puran Singh also elaborates Sikh Sur as consciousness that is above both body and mind. Surta is uni, uni, unison with God consciousness. In his poem, Guru Avtar Surat says Guru Surta is command, hukum of God. It functions to recast and create. Puran Singh is inspired by the writing of Guru Gobind Singh, who provided an alternative to the repressed masses by creating the Khalsa. 
Guru Gobind Singh to Puran Singh is an innovator like Buddha, who ushered a spiritual democracy amongst its people. To Puran Singh, Guru Gobind Singh is a ceaseless union is in ceaseless union with the Kal, the timeless. He calls him as the carefree bridegroom, giving knocks at midnight to carry his bride. The bride here is, is the world, history, creation that needs to be re-energized. The guru is a redeemer. These ideas find articulation in the moment of blessing with the spirit. An important sign that Puran Singh uses in his writing is the blossoming lotus for the God-radiated individual and for God himself. It is one of the predominant metaphors that occurs in Shri Guru Granth Sahib also. Puran Singh in Spirit of the Six mm -hmm. elaborates the multicultural aspect of Sikhism, various themes and visions through the persons of different religions and cultures. This ability to interpret Sikhism as multicultural is border crossing and also comes from his exposures and experiences in Japan. For Puran Singh, the sacred cannot be experienced through rationality, but only through song and music. The sacred can be experienced only when the mind and the body, body's integrated jusa is ready to receive the nam, the sacred. Puran Singh translates the Kal Murad as the word in flesh. Experiencing, the, experiencing of the sacred in Puran Singh is free from duality. This ability to abandon the self to the flux and heterogeneity around him allows Puran Singh to shape a poetics of celebrating the other, where the sacred, secular, natural, libidinal all come together in a, in a song of wonder. The influence of Japanese culture, the consciousness of the specificity of the East, marks Puran Singh's poetry. Puran Singh also asserts the distinct cultural identity of, of the Orient through his work and within it, the identity of the Sikh vision. It is this distinction that Puran Singh's poetry articulates simultaneously, being in dialogue with other national and regional cultures. Puran Singh writes in three verse that he borrowed from Walt Whitman to express the idea of freedom as in America and also reflected his revolutionary reflex that was in initiated during his stay in Japan. Puran Singh's poetry is marked by a spontaneous flow, much like the flowing rivers he grew up with, such as the flow that ten masters is an overflow of poetic expression. However, as Dr. Bhagat says in An Inflamed Heart, Puran Singh's poetry is not merely to be understood as flow of exuberance, but, but, but positionality as well. Puran Singh's poetic imaginary was simultaneously in dialogue with other literatures, cultures, and religions. His poetry is an intermediation of the difference of the Orient, the revolutionary, anti-clonal stance, Zen Taoist spirituality of Japan. It also is the poetic, the poetic sign that emerges from the Guru's love of Surat. In Puran Singh's work writings, all three cross currents run parallel, shaping a poetic and aesthetic that is distinct, that is clearly shaped by his own imaginary and the equation. The significant aspect of the poetic is the presence of love as a sign that celebrates the other ingredients. Sign Puran Singh's significant works include Kule Metan, Kule Kund, Kule Asman, Nirang, and Lachi, that he was, was destroyed by him, thinking it could be misunderstood. There are other significant poems like Soini's Cottage, where the constellation of light is a sign of eternal life and Punjabis in flaming and screaming youth. To Puran Singh, Sony is not just a symbol of desire, but of light that illuminates the decadence of empires. 
Other significant poems include The Noble Woman at Home, Virgin Padmini, Then the Flaming Lights of Himalayas, and You Valley, Valley View Yourself. Address to the youth to rise and not allow any fragmentation of their blooming flower. There are other poems like My Patriotism for Punjab, inspired by the love of Punjab. This section is marked by his love for Shri Guru Granth Sahib. Puran Singh, through his poetry, upholds the interpersonal man-woman relationship, love, and diverse lo divine love as two dimensions of the same. Soni to him is the national emblem of Punjab. One of the significant poems addressed to the travails of Punjab is Carefree Youth of Punjab, where he uplifts the youth of Punjab as having magnificent human culture. He says, the carefree youth of Punjab crack jokes with death. They don't fear dying. Punjab lives in the name of the gurus. Puran Singh does cries for the return of the Punjab, the Sikh Punjab, where ceaseless rivers of life powers flowed. In another section, I and he, Puran Singh includes poets where he is yearning for God is expressed. He yearns for his lost spring. Puran Singh's experience of the sacred is in totality of life. It is not theocentric. In Kulle Kund, elaborates art work in terms of Buddhist Sikh vision. He distinguishes between Surta and Ego. Another significant poem is, I am asking for name. What is my name? A deliberation of personal identity, but also relevant to the problematic of cultural identity. Puran Singh Das creates a radical alternative of negotiating cultural specificity along with world consciousness. The integration of the aesthetic, the poetic, and the sacred, not only in his poetry, but life and relationships is indeed a gift. Thank you. Thank you very much. Vipinderjit uh, ji, I don't have the intellect and the wisdom to sum up what has been really expressed in your lectures. There are so many perspectives overlapping each other, so many perspectives which simultaneously interact with each other, that in a way, you have given us the agenda to carry on Puran Singh studies in India. It's, it's such a broad thing. This agenda can be worked out for so many people for coming years and years together by the research students. So after having said this, I just want to Puran Singh Di Pasha Ch Nikiya Nikiya Gala. Punjab no kuka mein. Or ek gala chotiyan chotiyan jadiyan ne, e una diyan bilkul sachiyan ho riyan ne, or dino din sachiyan ho na diyan, or wish de vich. Puran Singh, as you rightly put it, basically a poet of the future, not only the poet of the past, but poet of the present, past and future, all three time collapsing into each other in that kind of thing. So such a wide agenda, I'm sure the listeners have imbibed it and many of them will find much in it to work about it. His transformation of so many concepts from the Sikh tradition while having dialogue with the Japanese tradition and the Sufi tradition, that it's absolutely amazing. So what you have delivered us is a very wonderful lecture and we are all grateful to you for this. In fact, jere log bar gaye ne Punjab to, ona nu is gal da pata kyunki sab to vadi gal ona nu sab kuch mil gaya. ਪਰ ਹਰੇ ਤੱਕ ਵੀ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਗੱਲ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਹੈ ਤਰਸੇਵਾ ਹੂੰ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਤਰਸੇਵਾ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਵੀ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਵੇਲ ਮਿਲਦੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਵੱਡ ਵੱਡ ਖਾਂਦਾ ਦਿਲ ਕਰਦਾ ਕਿ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਚਲੀਏ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਨੂੰ ਉਸ ਉਹ ਇਹਨੇ ਵੇ ਉਹ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਨੂੰ ਬੈਠੇ ਕੂਕ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਚਾਹੇ ਉਹ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਵਾਪਸ ਨਹੀਂ ਆ ਸਕਦੇ ਪਰ ਇਹ ਗੱਲ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਸੱਚੀ ਹੈ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸਰ ਪੂਰਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਦੀ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਛੱਡ ਕੇ ਗਿਆ ਉਹ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਛੱਡ ਕੇ ਜਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਕਦਾ ਉਹ ਪੰਜਾਬ 
ਚਾਹੇ ਚਾਹੇ ਉਹ ਕਿਤੇ ਵੀ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਵਿੱਚ ਬੈਠਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਦੂਸਰੀ ਇੱਕ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਗੱਲ ਬੜੀ ਸਾਦੀ ਕਹੀ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਸਾਰਾ ਜਿਉਂਦਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਦੇ ਨਾਮ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਵਿੱਚ ਐਨੀਆਂ ਦੁਖਾਂਤ ਹੋਏ ਨੇ ਔਰ ਫਿਰ ਵੀ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਜਿਉਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਕਿਉਂ ਜਿਉਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਕਿ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਵਿੱਚ ਗੁਰੂ ਦਾ ਨਾਮ ਹੈ ਗੁਰੂ ਦੇ ਜਿੰਨੀ ਦੇਰ ਗੁੰਮਾ ਨੂੰ ਨਾਮ ਰਹਿਣਗੇ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਜਿਉਂਦਾ ਰਹੇਗਾ ਜਿੰਨੀ ਦੇਰ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਜਿਉਂਦਾ ਰਹੇਗਾ ਉਹਨੀ ਦੇਰ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਗੁਰੂਆਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਮ ਯਾਦ ਰੱਖਣੇ ਪੈਣਗੇ ਗੁਰੂਆਂ ਦੀ ਗੁਰੂਆਂ ਦੇ ਕਨਸੈਪਟ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਮਝਣਾ ਇਸਰੀ ਛੋਟੀ ਜੀ ਗੱਲ ਮੈਂ ਕੌਣ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਚਾਹਣਾ ਕਿ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਜੇ ਉੜੀਆ ਸਰ ਉੜੀਸਾ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਨੇ ਜਵਾਹਰ ਲਾਲ ਨਹਿਰੂ ਯੂਨੀਵਰਸਿਟੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਬੀਜੂ ਪਟਨਾਇਕ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਫਾਰ ਉੜੀਆ ਲੈਂਗੁਏਜ ਸਟੱਡੀਜ਼ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟ ਕੀਤਾ ਔਰ ਮੈਂ ਕਹਾਂਗਾ ਕਿ ਇੱਕ ਦਿਨ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਆਏਗਾ ਜਾਂ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਨੂੰ ਇਸ ਗੱਲ ਦੀ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਹੋਸ਼ ਆਏ ਜਵਾਹਰ ਲਾਲ ਨਹਿਰੂ ਯੂਨੀਵਰਸਿਟੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸਰ ਪੂਰਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਲੈਂਗੁਏਜ ਸਟੱਡੀਜ਼ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਨੇ ਕਾਇਮ ਕਾਇਮ ਕਰਨੇ ਪੈਣਗੇ ਉਹ ਸਿੰਘ ਲਈ ਬਹੁਤ ਕੁਝ ਕਰਨ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਕਮ ਸੇ ਕਮ ਇਹ ਦੋ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਇਹ ਬੜੀਆਂ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਨੇ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੇ ਪਰਸਪੈਕਟਿਵਸ ਸਾਡੇ ਸਪੀਕਰ ਨੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਸਾਹਮਣੇ ਰੱਖੇ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਇਨ ਡੈਪਥ ਐਕਸਪਲੋਰ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾਵੇ ਤੇ ਪੂਰਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਸਟੱਡੀਜ਼ ਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਬੜਾ ਵਾਸਟ ਸਬਜੈਕਟ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾਵੇ ਇਨ ਦੈਟ ਸੈਂਸ ਮਹਿੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਕੱਲੇ ਇਸ ਕੰਮ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਸਿਰਫ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇਨਸਪਾਇਰ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਨੇ ਪਰ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਇਸ ਕੰਮ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੇ ਸਕਾਲਰਾਂ ਨੇ ਮਿਲ ਕੇ ਕਰਨਾ ਸੋ ਮੈਂ ਬਸ ਇਨੀ ਗੱਲ ਕਹਿਣੀ ਸੀ ਹੋਰ ਮੇਰੇ ਪਾਸ ਕਹਿਣ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਕੁਝ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁਣ ਵਾਲੇ ਸਰੋਤਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਬਹੁਤ ਸ਼ੁਕਰੀਆ ਓਵਰ ਟੂ ਮਹਿੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਹਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹਾਂਗਾ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਵਕਤਾਂ ਦਾ ਤੇ ਇਸ ਲੈਕਚਰ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰਦਾਨ ਦਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਖਿਆਲ ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਵਧੀਆ ਕੰਪੀਟੀਸ਼ਨ ਕਦੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਇਆ ਕਿ ਦੋਨੋਂ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹਨ ਉਸ ਪੂਰਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਦੇ ਐਡਮਾਇਰ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਪੜਿਆ ਪੂਰਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਨੂੰ ਬੜੇ ਚੰਗੇ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਨਾਲ ਦਿਪੰਦਰ ਨੇ ਰਿਚ ਥਾਟ ਬ੍ਰਿਲੀਅਨ ਡਿਲੀਵਰੀ ਇਹ ਬੜਾ ਵਧੀਆ ਕੰਬੀਨੇਸ਼ਨ ਸੀ ਆ ਮੈਂ ਐਗਰੀ ਕਰਦਾ ਕਿ ਪੂਰਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਨੂੰ ਯੋਗ ਸਥਾਨ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਉਹ ਬੰਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕਿ ਆ ਮੈਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਡੈਫੀਨੀਸ਼ਨ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸਿੱਖਦੀ ਬੜੀ ਕਮਾਲ ਪੜੀ ਦੇ ਆ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਨਾ ਹਿੰਦੂ ਨਾ ਮੁਸਲਮਾਨ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਵਸਦਾ ਗੁਰੂਆਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਂ ਤੇ ਕਿ ਕੀ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਸਿੱਖ ਹੈ ਨੋ ਜੇ ਸਿੱਖ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਫਿਰ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਉਹਦੇ ਜੇ ਰਾਂਝਾ ਵੀ ਸਿੱਖ ਹੈ ਹੀਰ ਵੀ ਸਿੱਖ ਹੈ ਡੈਫੀਨੀਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਕਿ which transcends all boundaries so tolerate accept others that was was pooran singh's philosophy let us hope in these troubled times we will promote pooran singh studies and maybe he can help us to resolve some of the divisions that we created in different names for our creating world bank so i'm sorry to say this is for world bank otherwise religion doesn't allow to create these narrow boundaries now before i thank the audience who have joined us online i would like to make a small announcement our next lecture is on begimpura a city without sorrow by sir harinder singh director sikh research institute in us he is a brilliant scholar who all know and he, he has specially come on our invitation and will be speaking in the southern in person on 22nd february at 3 pm and professor charan singh chairman of punjab and sindh bank has agreed to chair please join and pass on our invitation to others second thing that we would like to announce is as professor josh knows he was one of the founders i they have who have an institute of punjab studies so we are planning a comprehensive seminar punjab on the cross roads this will have three components so first component of the seminar is being held in collaboration with india international center on 4th and 5th march 2024 uh, we will the theme is political economy and governance in punjab there after we'll have more seminars please find time in kashmir jain and professor
both of you again, uh, Dipinder and Dava, and Professor Josh. Great luck. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Le I, I, the, I just want to one word that I really enjoyed the lecture. So it Thank is you. very important. The lecture is not only full of wisdom and clarity oh, and so many everything as well. insights, but it's also a very sweet listening to the lecture itself. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you so much. Hope the Binder stays connected with us. Mm -hmm. Thank huh? you, sir. Yes. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you, sir. Thank you.